wonderful job there. Uh, he is, we think he probably would have gone four or five seconds faster this uh, this coming season, but uh, unfortunately he wasn't able to uh, have that opportunity. He's going to be running next year at Bowdoin College in Maine. Uh, I believe they're getting someone who has got tremendous potential to run very, very fast. And um, I think they're very lucky to get him. Um, Calvin, uh, thank you for all your hard work. Thank you for your leadership. Um, we hope to keep track of you in the, in the future. Thank you. Thank you, Coach Davis, and congratulations, Calvin. I'm now going to pass it to Coach Fitzgerald to speak about Lucy Jane. All right, I'm going to go to Sammy first to speak about uh, Paul in boys soccer. If only I had a million words to talk about this young man, Paul Karch. He is one of our strongest players that I've ever coached. Um, it was a pleasure coaching him. And I know Belmont is receiving a class, first class gentleman. His touch, composure, and just his athletic ability on the field was unbelievable. It was unfortunate we only had him for half a season because he's an amazing player and he's I know he's going to do great things at Belmont this year or next year I mean. So it was a wonderful coaching you Paul and I look forward to seeing what you do in the future. Thank you. I'm now going to pass it to Coach Thomas. He's got three football players, so I'm going to let him speak a little about that. And congratulations, Paul. It was so great to have you here this year for Flint Hill and the amazing memories you made on the soccer field. All right. Thank you, Diana. And uh, I just want to say, first of all, from my humble abode up here in Vermont, I took a trip to be closer to my daughters and uh, we got three inches of snow yesterday. So hopefully you all are faring a little better than I am right now. But um, I want to, I got three guys I want to speak about. And this was my first year at Flint Hill. And these three young men were kind of instrumental and really just kept helping me as a coach, get my feet on the ground, understand who we have. Um, as far as players, I got here in June, you know, on campus, and those guys were working tirelessly in the weight room, trying to prepare for the season, trying to um, get themselves ready to defend their crown as state champions. We've got three guys, and again, this recruiting process was, um, you know, it's an interesting process, and I really believe that in looking at the schools that, that Jalen, Zach, and Elijah are going to are really good fits for all of them. Um, you know, I'll, start, I'll talk about Jalen to begin with. Jalen was one of our team captains this year and um, just a tremendous worker. Um, I think what was interesting for Jalen this past season was the fact that he was transferring from or transitioning rather from inside linebacker, moving back to the back end of the defense to play safety for us. And he was also moving a little bit further back because he played mostly tailback as a junior on offense. And he played tailback for us this year as our primary ball carrier. Um, what I loved watching about Jalen out there is he, he ran with aggression and he finished his runs. And when he met the ball carrier, uh, he met him with an angry disposition. And, you know, he was a tough physical player. And I really think he's going to a great program. I had coached against Bridgewater and one of our uh, coaches on staff, Jeff Sejour, actually coached at Bridgewater. And we know what kind of program he's going to there. Um, next up, we had Zach Garcia. Zach was one of our most versatile athletes. Um, you know, he was our top wide receiver. You know, he was our one of our best cover corners, him and Justice. He made one of the best cover tandems in the state. Um, you know, he was also versatile. You saw in the, the highlight video him returning a punt for a touchdown. There wasn't too much that he couldn't do on the football field. Um, you know, and he was he was one of those guys that anytime the ball touched his hands, he could take it for six. And that was exciting. And I'm looking forward to seeing him, uh, you know, playing for the Delaware State Hornets next year and being able to continue to follow his career. Um, lastly, we had Elijah Wasson, again, another team captain for us. You know, I'd argue that he's one of the best inside linebackers in the state of Virginia, um, regardless of public or private school. Uh, tremendous nose for the ball, selfless teammate. Whatever we asked him to do, he would do it. 
um, you know, if it meant, you know, us being in a better position to win. Um, you know, he was a downhill football player. When he saw a crease, he would get down there and he would fill it. And, you know, he was a tremendous tackler, whether it was an open space or a confined area, you know, that ball carrier was going backwards. Uh, just a really, really tremendously reliable football player. I think if he had two or three inches on him, he'd be going somewhere else. But I also think Wingate's going to be a great fit for him. And I'm looking forward to seeing him continue in his career. Um, I really appreciate all those all what those three guys did for me as a coach this year and did for our team, you know, helping us, you know, go back to back to back as far as um, the MAC champions this year. I'm looking forward to continuing to see you guys develop as football players, but um, I'm also looking forward to seeing you guys continue to develop as young men. Um, it was great to be your coach. I wish I had more time with you, but I wish you all the best of luck. I am now going to pass it to uh, Coach Fitzgerald to speak about Lucy James. All right. Um, good to be with everybody. And uh, congratulations to all the uh, uh, student athletes um, that are um, being spoken about today. Uh, hope everyone is well. Um, and uh, it's good to, uh, to hear Coach Thomas talk about his players. I sincerely apologize for not being on earlier. I was finishing up another virtual call. So, um, but uh, happy to be here. Um, happy to uh, speak um, about Lucy Jane Magruder. Um, we're really um, fortunate um, to have LJ uh, come to Flint Hill and join us. Um, and uh, she's somebody who's had a tremendous impact uh, on our program, on her teammate, um, someone who I will um, certainly always um, remember and uh, hope to uh, stay in contact with, you know, as uh, she moves into into college and, and is fortunate enough to, to uh, head to the West Coast and uh, play for Whitman College. Um, you know, LJ uh, is somebody who, um, and with working with me, but also working with uh, Coach Abood, and uh, hopefully Coach Abood's on listening to this, um, but uh, LJ is somebody who worked uh, tirelessly uh, to get better as a goalie. Um, and uh, I think, you know, unfortunately with our season cut short, um, what we could see was probably uh, set out to have uh, her best season yet. Um, she was playing with a lot of confidence, a lot of poise, um, and uh, someone who, um, as I've said to her um, multiple times as we had an opportunity to uh, Google Meet as a team and other things, I miss seeing her uh, every day. Um, I would say the best thing about LJ, though, is uh, her personality. Um, she's someone who is always positive, always complimentary of her teammates, um, and someone who um, the entire um, program really uh, enjoyed sharing the field with. Um, and just uh, enjoyed being around. Um, and uh, that's uh, what I'm certainly missing now, um, not being able to, uh, to be out there uh, on the field uh, during the spring. Um, but, uh, you know, again, um, we'll look forward to watching, you know, her uh, play at Whitman. Um, and I'm sure um, she'll bring that same uh, contagious personality to, uh, to that uh, program on that school. Um, and I've, already had the opportunity to uh, to reach out to their coach and talk to uh, him a little bit about her. Thank you. And now, because this is just a little bit of a different, we're going to let the kids speak and say a couple of words about whoever they want to thank. I'm going to talk about their experience at Flint Hill. So I'm going to start with who I see first. I'm going to start with Jalen Hertz. Jalen, if you're ready. <laughs> all right, sorry. Uh, first of all, I want to thank uh, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, because without him, nothing is possible. Next, uh, I want to thank my family for always supporting me. My dad is not able to be here with me today, but I want to thank him as well. Um, next, I want to thank all the coaches who ever took the time to coach me and help me become a better player and a better man. Um, like playing Flint Hill football, um, it really changed me a lot from a boy to a more mature man. I just want to thank all the coaches who helped me. All the lessons they taught me, Coach Urbanic, all the lessons he taught me. Coach Thomas, all the lessons he taught me. Coach Willoughby, uh, Dante Davis is a good coach. He helped uh, me change my game a lot. And yeah, I just want to say thank you to everybody, the whole Flint Hill community. Thank you, Jalen, and congratulations. Next, I'm going to bring it to Lucy Jane. Lucy, you're on the mic. 
Um, I just want to say thank you to everyone who's supported me on this journey because if you know how long and all the things that has happened in the last year, it's been hard, but I'm so grateful to be where I am now and to be going where I'm going. I, um, and I want to thank Fitz and Abood for being there for me all four years and putting up with me through all of my energy and just sticking with me the whole time. <laughs> and um, my family for pushing me to play lacrosse um, when I was in kindergarten. I wouldn't be where I was if I didn't start there. Um, and then my teammates, I love you guys and you're nice. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Great job, Lucy, and congratulations. Next, I'm gonna bring it to Zach Garcia. Zach? Hey, how's everyone doing today? Um, I just want to start off by saying I just want to thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Um, he's, he's a key component in my life, as well as my mother here. My father is unfortunately not able to make it. He uh, he works up in Boston, so he, he wasn't able to come down due to the pandemic. So, like, um, I just want to pray for everybody that is suffering from that as well. Um, I just want to um, also thank all my teammates, my friends, and my family, and my coaches especially, because you guys actually pushed me so hard to, like, what I had to do in the season every year and year in and year out I just I knew I had to stay dedicated because I had people depending on me I had teammates depending on me and you know I had a um, I had a really good support system throughout the years that I've been at for Hill and um I just want to thank you Miss Parente for setting this all up uh, I know this was a kind of difficult situation I know virtually it's kind of difficult to get things done and you actually made this happen so uh I'm very appreciative of that and I just want to say Thanks, everybody. And also, I just want to dedicate this to my grandmother. She passed away this past summer, and I do this for her. So, Congratulations, Zach. So proud of you. Uh, all right, I'm going to bring it now to Brendan. Brendan, you're on the mic. Uh, I'd like to thank Coach Urbanic, Coach Menifee, my teammates, Coach Ardini, and Coach Patrick. Um, I've learned a lot from everyone. It's been a pleasure learning both on and off the field skills with Coach Urbanic and uh, something I can never repay him for. So that's it. Thank you, Brendan. Congratulations. I'm, I'm now going to pass it to Paul. Paul, you're on the mic. Thank you. Um, first, I'd like to thank my family who's standing behind me and around. Uh, they've been supporting me basically since I started playing soccer and following my dream to play in college the whole time. Then I'd like to thank um, Flint Hill, specifically Coach Pete, Coach Sammy, Coach Tate, and my entire team. Because every day I went there, I felt like I was able to train and get a lot better. And I feel like on the soccer side of things and even just teaching me like about life and stuff, they were, they were there for me. And then obviously I'd like to thank two of my biggest mentors, uh, Chaco Juan Viejas and Lubos Kubik. They kind of just mentored me, basically, the reason why I went overseas and did everything that I did. And the reason that I even came to Flint Hill is through them and something I'm very, very thankful. And I think all in all, I just want to say thank you to everyone at Flint Hill, because without Flint Hill and this year at school and everyone that has welcomed me and supported me, I would never have been able to do it. Congratulations, Paul. We're super excited for you and can't wait to watch you play. I am now going to pass it to last but not least, but Elijah Lawson. Elijah, you're on the mic. Uh, first, I'd like to thank my parents who made the sacrifices and the support they, they gave me. I'd like to thank my teammates. I'd like to thank all my coaches, Coach Germanic, Coach Davis, Coach Thomas, <laughs> Coach Willoughby, and all the coaches that supported me and taught me how to play this game, get my game better. I'd like to thank all the trainers, everybody that helped and supported me throughout my journey. Well, congratulations, everyone. And this is what we're going to do now. It's now time for these kids to sign. And I see you guys are making a lot of use out of the chat feature. But let's go crazy in the chat feature. Let's say go. Congratulations, guys. Now it's time for you to sign your celebratory and national letters of intent. Come on, woo! Sign, go in that. <laughs> woo! Oh, sorry. 
I, Calvin, I'm, I forgot to get, sorry, I'm so sorry. I, I wanted to say go, but Calvin, you also need to say some words. So Calvin, please round us out, round us out, Calvin. Calvin, are you there? Calvin? <laughs> All right. Well, um, I'm going to <laughs> congratulations everyone for signing. Thank you for everyone for being here. We're going to profile this all on social media. Uh, congratulations to all the athletes. We're super, super, super proud of you. Congratulations and bye. All right. Am I? Thank you, everybody, for joining us today. Thank you. Appreciate it. Me, bo. <laughs> <laughs>